Over the next seven days, I'm going to be attempting to create a TikTok sound with my voice in it that goes viral. And I have no idea if this is going to work. So on TikTok, there's a phenomenon where somebody will create a TikTok and the audio from that TikTok has so much application to hundreds of other themes that the audio itself will go viral. Here's an example. How did this become this? become this. Then after that video takes off, people realize that this sound could be applicable to other circumstances. Like watching a small little puppy grow from that into a wolf. Or a teenage boy that watches Andrew Tate religiously grow into a man that gets angry when he sees a woman driving a car. How did this become this? Some of these audios have tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of videos that are offshoots from the original. And most of these people probably don't even know where the original sound came from. So I have a theory that if I try really hard, I could make a series of the most generally applicable TikTok sounds in existence. As mouth-watering as a pumpkin spice latte to a soccer mom in flannel. But I'm not an expert on the world of TikTok. I mean, sure, I busted out dance moves at weddings that would make Charlie D'Amelio shit herself in fear and awe. But if I'm gonna make sounds for TikTok, I have to learn from the experts on what the ideal sound would be. What do you think are the defining traits of what make a TikTok sound go viral? Something that they could then make into a relatable thing of their own. It's more of like the cadence of how you speak rather than what you're actually saying that actually makes a TikTok go viral. Something that needs to be able to be memeable. If you have something that people can kind of put their own situations into and either yeah. make a joke. One of the top things that makes a great TikTok sound is cringe. Cringe plays a large factor in everything that happens on TikTok. You make your own meme, people could flip it with just a different text and they would kind of lip sync what you're saying. What's the minimum amount that I would probably need to hit in order for it to be like viral? Like 15 to 20,000 times. Like that's like lightly viral. Anything over 50,000 is like, okay, yeah, probably everyone and their mother is seeing this. At least like 10K videos. I feel like once you see that K, it picks up after that. If the top ones have over 100K plus, then that's really when you know you're getting somewhere. Do you think I have a chance? I think you have a chance. I feel like that's gonna be hard to do. At least like one of these ideas has to work. And I agree with Aviva. It's the entire foundation of my strategy. Keep throwing shit at the walls until something sticks. Kind of like Instagram with its features or monkeys with shit. So with my research finished, here are my rules. Number one, the sound has to use my voice. I can't go grabbing sounds from TV shows and stuff. This baby is going to be custom. Two, in order for a sound to be considered viral, it has to pass a threshold of roughly 15,000 videos using the sound. And finally, I can't tell my audience that I'm trying to make a viral TikTok sound because then people are just going to try to help me. And let's be honest, I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> so with all this in mind, I prepared for day one by creating my first TikTok sound. New epic viral TikTok sound. Yeah, no, that makes sense. My idea is a TikTok that applies to something that people like. A NASCAR race or a basketball game. A build, build a bear. Like it would be a thing of me as an eight year old walking into the rainforest cafe. And then I'm like, well, this is going to define my personality for the next decade. Yeah, no, that that's probably what I'm going to say. Well, this is going to define my personality for the next decade. <laughs> Uh, this is going to define my personality for the next decade. Wow. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. That seems like it could do well. It could just be someone discovering something for the first time. Wow. Well, this is gonna be my personality for the rest of my life. I'd honestly say that this is a pretty good one to start off with, just to see if my theories work at all. Otherwise, we're gonna be in for some trouble. There's another thing that you can do with TikTok sounds that I learned recently, where you can rename a sound once. I think if I give the sound a name, it will also add a layer of legitimacy to the sound. I'm feeling really strongly about it now. This is gonna be our flagship opening TikTok that I hope this sound will do well. Good morning. It's day one of trying to make a viral TikTok sound. First thing to do was record my video for my relatable TikTok sound. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. Then I slapped on a relatable caption onto the video and post. In the first six minutes, we've got 286 likes, 12 comments, but 10 saves. And from what I've noticed, the sounds that do the best are the ones that have a lot of saves. What the fuck so just commented, watch this audio trend on TikTok. If he's commenting this, that means that this TikTok just might have a fighting chance, ladies and germs.
Oh, baby. We have our first video made from the sound. Wow. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. That's a pretty good usage of the sound. This video has been up for, what, 12 minutes? Put my title on the screen, The King of Relatability. How ridiculous would it be if we were successful on the first day? I'm feeling maybe unrealistically confident about how this is going so far. But we also got to make another one today. I'm thinking this one, the world saying you can't do something, and then you going ahead and doing it. And then it's like this musical beat, like, reveal thing. You're a failure! You'll never do it. You don't have what it takes. It's a pipe dream. Do you understand how many people have tried this and failed? It's impossible. Well, they didn't have me. That has no right to be as epic as it's sounding right now. Do you understand how many people have tried this and failed? It's impossible. Well, they didn't have me. <laughs> this sound I imagine would make the most sense for like, like some guy that's just trying to build a porch. His neighbor saying that it's not going to work out or his HOA. I hope with all of my soul that people use this sound because it is far dumber than the last one I made. So for the second sound, I ended up doing another Rainforest Cafe joke. If you don't know at this point, I went to every single one in North America with the joke being for this one. Oh, you can't go to every single Rainforest Cafe. It's impossible. I got my Rainforest Cafe outfit. This is going to be good. Well, they didn't have me. Then I made deeply insane face apps of Eddie and I standing in front of every single Rainforest Cafe to result with this masterpiece. Do you understand how many people have tried this and failed? It's impossible. Well, they didn't have me. I would say that this is in its perfect state. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to post it. Here we go. I have officially posted both of the TikTok sounds that I hope go viral. I have a feeling that it's going to take a little bit more than that, but we'll see. There are some good news and bad news. The first TikTok I posted yesterday, I believe did excellent. It has 128,000 likes, 6,383 people have saved it. And the most important of them all, there is 170 videos that people have made from this sound. The most liked one is this guy talking about being addicted to destiny. I'm delighted to see this. For my first attempt at making a sound to get about 170 videos in 24 hours, I would say that's pretty good. I'm gonna view this as a win thus far and we'll see how it progresses over the week. Now on to the bad news. The other video I posted did well. It has 100,000 likes, but it only has seven videos made from the sound. The top video on the sound, it has a thousand likes and it's someone calling me out for attempting to try to make a viral TikTok sound. I don't know if it's for a video or something, but based on all the new Ted TikToks I've seen today, I'm about 90% certain Ted is trying to make a viral audio. You got me. Train me up. Take me to fucking jail. There's even a comment saying, LMAO, this will probably be in the video. There's this one person that made an account specifically to call me out on it. Ted, are you making a vid? So out of the seven total videos using this sound, more than 50% are calling me out on trying to make a viral sound. You guys think you know everything, huh? Like you're Nick Cage putting lemon juice on the Declaration of Independence. Newsflash, I'm not really trying to hide what I'm doing. I just didn't think that you guys would catch on so fast. It's not a huge deal because unlike Danny Gonzalez's video where he makes a viral TikTok song and he like disguises himself in order to do it, which is a lot of the inspiration behind this video and you should check it out if you haven't already. I'm not necessarily trying to do this in secret. The rule is that I'm just not telling my audience that I'm doing. So I will never admit to it until this video has posted. Plus, for the TikToks that I've posted in the past, they've done well and they've gotten likes, but none of them have ever blown up as a sound. So the ability to make a viral sound isn't inherently tied to the size of a TikTok page. It takes the special sauce. With TikTok's For You page giving pretty much anything the chance to go viral, it makes it an equalizer in the sense that the only way that I'm going to make a viral sound is if I make something that's worth becoming a viral sound. Another reason why I don't think this sound worked though is because it was too complicated. The whole punchline is like a highly edited slideshow. I might try to go to the angle of what has worked in the past. There was a time that my voice went semi-viral on TikTok where somebody posted a clip from my edible story video and then it became a trend and it got more than 10,000 videos made from it. So the two words of the day are reuse and recycle. I'm going to be reusing and recycling my own content. I'm gonna go through my YouTube channel today and I'm going to find the most TikTok soundable moments. I'm unsure if this will work.
Day two went not very well at all in terms of my goal. The first one was a clip from my Coachella Milkman video. The sound itself only got five sound usages and two of them were from the same guy. I also tried to recreate the success of my edible story audio going viral, but then somebody called me out for reusing old content and that made me feel bad. So I deleted it in shame. As of now though, the first sound I posted is still the most successful one. It has 262 videos under the sound. And some of these TikToks are doing pretty good. The highest like TikTok besides my own has almost 25K likes. Below that, we've got one with almost 14K likes. And at this point, there are people that are using the sound that don't even follow me, which tells me that this sound is reaching beyond my audience. And I'm hoping at this point that might cause some sort of exponential growth. It's kind of ridiculous that it's day three and I'm putting all of my hope into the first attempt that I made. Right now, that's all I have. I haven't posted a single TikTok today. I need to figure out what is relatable. I need something to write on. Mental illness. I got ADHD. You probably got something going on. Being stressed. I'm stressed right now, so it's pretty relatable to me. Nihilism. The world's gonna end. Everything's falling apart. Queen Elizabeth is dead. I'll be honest with you. I had no idea what to do for a sound at this point. Everything I had done thus far had maybe a day of preparation, so I was just straight up out of ideas. It is so easy to go viral on TikTok. Um, so the rest of day three was quite literally me sitting at my computer and scrolling through TikTok, just trying to find ideas. That being said, it gave me an opportunity to get all my ducks in a row so I could come into day four stronger than ever. The first sound is still doing the best. It's now at 667 videos. This is the most that I've ever gotten. 17K likes, 12K likes, 50K likes, 20K likes. And what it's telling me is that simplicity is what's gonna win me the game here. People are gonna be frothing at the mouth to get a hold of my sound. I'm gonna be releasing luxury sound. So for this day's TikTok, I tried to enter into the vein of content where influencers will make relatable, nostalgic content in order to get likes. My goal was to make a viral TikTok while secretly promoting the sound. It was like a Trojan horse that was targeted specifically at people that grew up in the 2000s. Do you remember in elementary school how every single kid had an L.L. Bean backpack? I remember it being cool to have the backpack straps just so loose. And I have always needed to run to catch the bus. But when you have a backpack that is filled with books and it's hanging so low, when you run, it's like it's a pendulum. This is what it would look like. So my idea is to do a recreation of what that would look like. Missing the bus and you're running for it with your pendulum swinging backpack. I could find some like royalty free intense music or something. Because when you're a kid and you're trying to make the bus, making the bus is the most important thing that you could possibly be doing in your entire life. Kind of pretend that I'm like running like, you can do it. Oh, oh, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on. That should work. Let's try it out. Come on, come on, you can do it, come on! God. Didn't totally intend for this to be the case when I made this sound just now. It definitely sounds like it could be interpreted as something else. What is that thing it could be interpreted as? Someone getting really into a video game and playing it so hard and fast and long. Duh. All right, I'm pretty much ready to record this TikTok. Let's see how this goes. I have a treadmill that I use sometimes for my standing desk. I'm gonna see if I could use that to make the running more realistic. I guess I'm gonna use this sound now. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. Switch over to this one. Come on, come on. You can do it. Ha. Come on. I have just made TikTok art. This is so fucking relatable. So now all there is to do is just give it a caption. I think we're ready to post this. There's no way that people aren't gonna love this. Come on, come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on, come on. Here we go, I'm posting it, fuck. Right now it's at 36K likes over four hours, which I think is not good. There's only been two videos made from it thus far. I thought this video would do better than it has right now. I thought it was super relatable. Nah, when it was too loose, I just held the straps like suspenders. Yeah, when you have a loose backpack and you put it into sport mode is what that is. Just based on the way this one is performing thus far though, I don't think this is gonna be a relatable sound. I made it too complicated again. It seems that whenever I put music in the background, that screws me somehow. And if that first video does well, 
fantastic. It's gonna feel really bad though if I spend seven different days doing this and my first try is the most successful one. It is day five. Something is happening. The first TikTok I posted is doing even better. 1,453 videos. Holy fuck, I might actually do this. The top one on here right now has 64.8K likes. It was posted 21 hours ago and it is by a TikTok account with 1.6 million followers. I didn't ask them to do this. They found it themselves. As I writhe my hands in satisfaction, this is the beginning of the virality, folks. And it all started with a bit about the Rainforest Cafe. So what other sort of accounts are making TikToks from this sound? How much clout do they have? That's what I care about most. 176K followers. 483K. And since I've been talking about this, eight more people have made videos. On a darker note, this TikTok, the one that I probably put my most effort into, has there's only three videos being made from it. There seems to be a noticeable trend. Every time I try to make a viral TikTok, it works less. So at this point, I developed a theory that the reason why my first TikTok did so well was because of how easy it was for people to replicate it as a trend. All someone needs to do is just replace Rainforest Cafe with any passion or interest they have, and then they're pretty much done. All the other TikTok sounds I had made were paired with videos where the trend wasn't really clear at all or hard to replicate, or in the case of when I made old video clips, just not even there. So I can't just give people the sound that I think might work. I also have to give them the joke. So I'm gonna start off with a really easy joke, okay? Hand sanitizer says it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So obviously you could do a bit about the 0.1% of bacteria that hand sanitizer doesn't kill. I'm gonna try to give a voice to what that bacteria sounds like that people can use to apply to their own achievements. So with my handy dandy thesaurus and a whole lot of vine booms, this is what I came up with. You thought that would work out, huh? Unlikely, unrealistic, unimaginable, and implausible. Unbelievable, inconceivable, preposterous, and dare I say absurd. This should be ready to post. I think that this is gonna work out. I was right. I was right. That doesn't usually happen to me. Let me just walk you through what's going on here because this is a big deal. It's got 40.8K likes. It's doing all right. It could do better, but I go under the sound 33 videos in four hours. The last video I posted, it's still at four. I'm getting a rare feeling right now because I wasn't good at math in high school. When I did figure out how the equation worked, I felt pretty good. I feel like I figured out how the hell to find the area of a circle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, baby. I figured it out. I was feeling like things maybe weren't gonna work out the way that I wanted them to. And now I feel like I could cure cancer. I feel like I could show up to the White House right now and stop the inflation. $21 trillion in debt? I could probably figure that out. It's only 33 videos, but that is a very different reaction than the last three days. I started strong, the three days of drought, and then bounty time or treasure day. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like a fucking genius right now. That's a TikTok sound. What I just said is a fucking TikTok sound too. I was riding on genius energy. I was fucking Jimmy Neutron the rest of day five and I had the hair to prove it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like a genius right now. So I spent the rest of the day perfecting tomorrow's TikTok sound, but I don't think I was prepared for what I was gonna wake up to. Things are going really well. As of right now, the video that I posted yesterday has 63 videos being made from it. I'm sure you're wondering what the update is on the first sound. The sound is now at 2,609 videos. Here's the thing that's got me the most jazzed though. Whoa! Holy shit, the heavy hitters have come to play, baby. There are some seriously large TikTok accounts that have used this sound at this point. Let me give you some examples. Right here, we got this guy who is very popular. He likes to cosplay as Willy Wonka. 20.8 million followers. This woman right here, 16.9 million followers. This other dude here with 2.5 million followers. My voice has even made my way onto Christian TikTok. A reverse crusade. Things are going pretty well. If my most recent TikTok TikTok is any evidence, I think I figured it out. 
So the first order of business today is to make my TikTok that I will be posting. That TikTok is POV, you're high and putting cookies in your taco. The TikTok that's doing the best right now is seven seconds long. Maybe if I limit the length of this TikTok to being seven seconds long, maybe that'll help. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like a genius right now. I think this sound is ready. Let's try to make a TikTok with it. I think in order for the TikToks to do even better, what I need to do is I need to actually act the part. <laughs> now I'm a stoner. So I got Chips Ahoy and empty taco shells to do this bit. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like a genius right now. I think this looks pretty good. The last thing that I need to do is just put the caption on. I'm gonna be really disappointed if this one doesn't pop off. And post. It is day number last of trying to make a viral TikTok sound. Here we go, folks. For some reason, I was so proud of the weed joke that I had made. As a TikTok, it bombed. It has 35K likes. However, the sound itself does have nine videos. My first TikTok sound has 5,000. 810 videos. So that's a big jump. It's pretty obvious at this point that this first sound that I made is my best chance to actually completing this challenge. And everybody knows what I'm doing at this point. In my last TikTok, all of the top comments are people just saying, Ted, you're trying to make a viral audio. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm almost there. What I think would be the best use of my time at this point is to just make another TikTok with that audio. The sound is out of my hands now. It's growing on its own. So the best option for me at this point is to just help it along. So what I'm gonna do for this next TikTok is I'm just gonna make an ADHD joke. Me in seventh grade getting diagnosed with ADHD. So I'm gonna record a TikTok right now using that sound again, and then we'll see if I can help make it go even more viral. Wow. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. Wow. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. That's pretty good. I think it's still going to hit that sort of millennial positive, but the actual meaning is bad kind of joke. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like someone getting in a car crash and saying, well, I guess I'm not going to beat the traffic now. And post. Hopefully this one will do well and it'll make it even more viral. Now all there is to do is let the TikTok sounds marinate. And we will know for sure if I was successful in making a viral TikTok sound. 20 hours later, the sound hit 10,000 videos. It was gaining a momentum that I had never seen before. People were finding this sound from all corners of TikTok. Athletes, dancers, musicians, everyone was using the sound. The sound was going viral, but what I did not expect was for it to go this viral. 15K, 20K, 25K, 30K. The sound was expanding, exploding. Like the Big Bang itself that created our universe, the sound was turning into galaxies and stars and aliens that eat people and fuck them too. <laughs> videos were getting double, even triple the amount of views and likes as my original videos. And sometimes they even crossed into the millions. But what told me that my sound had gone full blown viral? Well, that was when Ed Sheeran used the sound. Yeah. Everybody's favorite smooth voice, Ginger, and my God, I was loving the shape of him. Celebrities were now getting involved in my sound, mouthing the words that I spoke as if to tell me that I had won. I had succeeded. Somehow, through a stupid level of luck and my dumb low register voice, I had artificially crafted virality. And the dumbest part about it is that it was my first try. So here we are, 35 days later. Let me give you the final stat. In total, as of October 21st, 2022, my sound is sitting at 51,300 videos. And through my sources, I was able to pull more data that expands on what this number means. Those 51,300 videos, in total, have 268 million views and 37 and a half million likes. Can I make a viral TikTok sound in one week? Well, yeah, I guess.